All right, everyone. Hello again. Um, I'm draining the oil. I've taken out these um, bolts in the clutch side side cover. I've got one left to take out, which is hiding behind the peg. So I have to take the swing arm bolt off, which holds the peg on. And I can already see that it looks like somebody's had a lot of fun in here previously with some silicon RTV. Presumably, um, presumably because it hasn't sealed, or they haven't been able to find a gasket, or they just haven't wanted to bother buying one. Just looking at the clutch, I honestly can't see yet whether it's um, in desperate need of care or whether there might be something else wrong. Decided I'm just going to take the tension off the clutch first, so... Something always goes in the oil. <laughs> I've got new clutch springs for this as well, just in case that's the source of the problem. Okay, and I just need to get that um, center bolt undone, which should require a clutch holding tool, but I think we can get creative instead. Just looking at the clutch, there's some meat left on it. Um, it doesn't look like it should be as bad as it is. Uh, but then if it's been contaminated with car oil, which is what I suspect, then maybe it is that bad. So this is a new clutch disc against the old one. I mean, there's definitely a difference there. The the old one is worn, but it's not worn enough that I'd expect it to be behaving the way it is. These are to be oiled before they go in. We start with a friction disc. Then a metal disc. Then a friction disc. And then a metal disc. Then a friction disc, and then a metal disc, and these are new metal discs by the way. Notice the other ones had some impressions on them, some, some dimples like they were designed to be sporty, <laughs> I suppose you could say. Okay, this piece in the middle adjusts how much um, push the lever on the other side has. So it's entirely possible that this was misadjusted um, and that's part of the reason that we're having trouble. But first of all, let's get the new springs in um, and then we'll sort out adjusting all of that next. Four of those, mercifully. Yamaha thought to be nice to anyone doing this and made the bolts long enough that there's no compression on the springs when they start. You'll occasionally find assemblies like this, not just clutches, where you have to compress the spring to get the bolt started and that is um, a straight up recipe for cross threading and all sorts of horrible stuff like that. Not to mention just a downright pain. Tighten those up to a couple of ugger duggers. Check the clutch is moving, which it is. And let's go about setting that adjustment in the center. Okay, so I've looked it up. And how do we do this adjustment? Well, 
I'll take you over to the other engine. There's an arrow on the tip here, sort of, and a mark on the case there. You hold that, you tighten in that little threaded flathead until you feel the two come together and it'll push back on the other side. And that's apparently it. I'm going to get on with that. I can't really film it because um, I'm going to have to reach down both sides of the bike and it's up against something. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, it's been rather unceremoniously thrown back together with the old gasket the old oil um yes i know but i've spent about 50 quid on oil i've um, poured into the recycling bank on this bike this should let us test to see if we've adjusted the clutch properly if we haven't it means we don't have to sacrifice a gasket taking the uh, side back off to readjust it so i'm going to do a few static tests then i'll take it up and down the road the static tests are essentially i'm going to put my foot on the rear brake my hand on the clutch Put it into first, bring the revs up. In fact, hold on, I'll do that using the carb. I've just adjusted the idle screw. Okay, and before that would keep running and um, not stall out. So I'm gonna put it back in neutral, warm it up. And the easiest way is I live with a little hill just outside the house. I'm just gonna rip it up that and see if it slips. All right, back again, and so far so good. It appears to be um, working, although we definitely need to A, change the oil, um, and B, sort out that gasket we didn't replace. Um, not sure whether I'm going to put a new paper gasket on there or just put a decent amount of Yammer Bond or Honda Bond on it. Um, save myself the pain of using up another gasket. And then maybe, just maybe, once we've done that, this engine deserves um, that fancy bolt kit because the heads of these bolts are just as toasted as all the others that I've come across. But for the time being, I think we'll call it there. Um, I'm off work fairly soon, so fingers crossed we can take it green lining. Although we might have to be careful how far we go for a little while until we're uh, sure that this old thing's not going to leave us walking again. Anyway, have a great evening, thanks for watching. Okay, so I thought while I was here, might as well change the cam chain as well. Which means we're right back in the thick of it over here. If you want to know how to do this, um, there's a previous video where I go over it several times when I take the head on and off.